But many people are worried that we'll have to compete with AI for survival, but artificial intelligence is not an alien invasion. It's an evolving from within us. It will reflect our humanity. We're creating it with values, knowledge, beliefs. From the first hominid who picked up a stick to reach a higher branch, to Gemini and GPT-5 today, our technology is how we extend the reach of our bodies and minds. As we move forward, the lines between humans and technology will blur until we are ultimately one and the same. The amount of computation that took up an entire floor of a building now fits on a smartphone in your pocket, and what now fits in your pocket will fit inside a blood cell, will be far more powerful. This is how we're going to merge with AI. In the 2030s, robots the size of molecules will go into our brains non-invasively through the capillaries and will connect our brains directly to the cloud. Think of it like having a phone, but in your brain. If you ask or just think about a question, your brain will go out to the cloud for an answer, like the way uh, you do on your phone now, only it will be instant. There won't be any input or output issues. You won't even realize it's been done. The answer will just appear in your brain like it's part of you. You won't be able to tell the difference between ideas that emerge in your biological brain versus your computational brain. It will be one brain. By 2045, once we have fully merged with AI, our intelligence will no longer be constrained by the size of our skulls. It will expand a million fold. It will be more creative, funny, sexy, compassionate. This is what we call the singularity.